Hi everyone. Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a vector field. Many questions are there. The first question is we have to check whether the given field is conservative or not. If it is conservative, we have to find the potential function. Okay. And after finding potential function, we have to find work done. Okay. We have to find work done in moving the particle from point P to point Q. Okay. So let us solve all these questions one by one. Let me write the given vector field properly. They are given e raised to y plus 3z into that bracket. So we will multiply. Okay. So we will have e raised to y plus 3zi plus x into that term. That means x e raised to y plus 3zj plus 3x into e raised to y plus 3zk. So this is a given vector field. Okay. So we have to find whether the, this vector field is conservative or not. When we say the field is conservative, if curl of f bar is equal to zero, we say the field is conservative. Let us find curl of f bar. Then curl of f bar, that means del cross f bar. So you know well how to find cross product. By solving determinant, we get a value of cross product. I should write i, j, k. Multiple of i, j, k in del. Operator del means deba by deba x i plus deba by deba y j plus deba by deba z k. So I should write here deba by deba x, deba by deba y and deba by deba z. So the next vector is a bar. So a bar I already written. So multiple of i is e raised to y plus 3z, right? Multiple of z is x e raised to y plus 3z. And the last one will be 3x e raised to y plus 3z. Let us solve this determinant i. So you know well how to find value of determinant in previous videos already we have seen i product of these two into product minus product of these two. So product that means here actually we have to find its derivative with respect to y. See 3x is constant so I should write as it is. This is function of y I should write its derivative but you know the derivative of exponential function will be as it is. So we'll have e raised to y plus 3z. After that derivative of that power will be 1 since derivative of 3z will be 0 since it is constant derivative of y will be 1 minus now derivative of this term with respect to z okay i will repeat my argument again x is constant so that's why you can take it outside this is function of z i should find its derivative it will be derivative of exponential function will be as it is after that derivative of the power okay there is some function no? so we should take its derivative get it by using chain rule derivative of y is 0 since it is constant derivative of 3z will be 3 so it will be 3x e raised to uh, y plus 3z minus z product of this two minus product of this two that means derivative of this one with respect to x getting so 3 and the last term will be constant 3y 3, 3 e raised to y plus 3z derivative of x will be 1 so we'll have this one minus derivative of this term with respect to z let us find exponential function will be as it is its derivative will be as it is y e raised to y plus 3z again derivative of y plus 3z derivative of y will be 0 since we are, we are finding derivative with respect to z and derivative of 3z will be 3 so we have this one plus let us go for last k k okay so product of these two terms into minus product of these two terms so that means its derivative with respect to x this is constant i should write as it is derivative of x will be 1 so we'll have this one minus derivative of this term with respect to y derivative of exponential function will be as it is after that derivative we have to take derivative of power by chain rule derivative of y is 1 and derivative of 3z will be 0 so that's why we have this one getting so did you notice in each and every bracket, we will have two terms with exactly opposite sign. So that's why value of all brackets will be zero. I, these two terms will get cancelled to each other, zero. These two terms will get cancelled to each other and last two terms also will get cancelled to each other. So that means zero i plus zero j plus zero k, that means zero bar. So del cross f bar is zero, getting, so that means curl of f bar is zero. So that's why we say the field is conservative. Let me mention it here. Therefore, field F bar is conservative. Therefore, field F bar is conservative. Okay, so yes, the first subscription we have completed here. The field is conservative. The next question is yes, 
If it is conservative, we have to find its potential function. Make a screenshot of it, then we'll go further. So we consider here phi be a potential function of f bar, getting? So that means phi is a scalar field, which will satisfy the condition f bar is equal to del phi. So now our target is to find the function phi, okay? So let me put the values here. f bar, what we have got, e raised to y plus 3z, getting? i plus x e raised to y plus 3z, z plus 3x e raised to y plus 3z, k. This is our f bar. Or you can write in uh, terms of brackets also that as an element of R3, getting? So del phi, that means you know that, that dab of phi by dab x, dab of phi by dab y, and dab of phi by dab z. The same thing we can write in this way, dab of phi by dab x i plus dab of phi by dab y z plus dab of phi by dab z k, okay? So let us compare, then we will have multiple of phi, dab of phi by dab x there. So it will be e raised to y plus 3z. We will equate multiples of z, dab phi dab of y will be x e raised to y plus 3z and dab phi by dab z will be, yes, the last one, 3x e raised to y plus 3z. Okay, so uh, see, we have got these values, but our final target is to find value of phi. We have got partial derivatives of phi with respect to x, with respect to y, with respect to z. So let us integrate all these terms with respect to x, y, and z. First of all, I will integrate with respect to x. So derivative with respect to x and integration with respect to x will get cancelled to each other. And we will have phi is equal to its integration with respect to x I am finding. See, there is no any x, so it will be constant. And what will be the constant of integrations? We will write simply x to that constant. So here x e raised to y plus 3z. After that, we are supposed to write constant of integration, which is obviously psi 1 of yz. See, y and z, both of them are constants when we integrate with respect to x. So, constant of integration can be a function of y and z. So, that's why I wrote in that way. See, here we have to find its integration with respect to y, okay, to remove the derivative with respect to y. So, x is a constant will come outside when we take integration and derivative of, sorry, integration of exponential function will be as it is. So, e raised to y plus 3z. Simply, we have to take care of one thing that is multiple of y we should write in denominator. But see, multiple of y is 1. So, if you write in denominator, we will have the same function. So, I will not write that thing plus psi 2 of. See, when we integrate with respect to y, function of x and z can be constant. So, that's why I should write psi 2 of x comma z. Now, the last one we should integrate with respect to z. Okay. So, yes, 3x will be constant getting. So, 3x. We have to integrate this exponential function. Integration of exponential function will be uh, same e raised to y plus 3z. But multiple of z, we should write in denominator. Multiple of z is 3. I should write divided by 3. But what will happen? 3, 3 will get cancelled to each other. So, that's why I will remove this 3. And this will be the required phi. Plus, I should write psi 3 of x, y now, since we are integrating with respect to z. See, yes, uh, we have some space here. Let us use. So, phi is equal to, then phi is equal to, we should consider all these three values of phi and we have to write the final answer. See, I, I should write the common part. That means x e raised to y plus 3z. This is a common function. So, if there is any additional function, we supposed to write there, but there is, fortunately, we don't have any such additional function. So, I wrote the function phi here, okay, which will be the common part plus constant of integration c. So, this is a required potential function of given field f bar, okay. So, the second sub question is also over. So, we should go for last sub question to find a work done. See, in previous videos also, we have seen how to find work done. The formula is very simple integration f bar dot dr bar. See, from p to q. Already we have proved a bar is conservative. So this line integral is independent on path. It depends on endpoints only. So that's why we can write this is equal to integration P to Q. What is our F bar? Del phi. Okay, that thing we have already proved. When you simplify it, we will have integration P to Q. We will have D phi only. So what will be its integration? Phi only, right? So this is our phi with limits P to Q. So you know that when we uh, integrate, okay, when we integrate, first we put upper limit, then we put lower limit, I'm going to do the same. Okay, so let me write phi here. What is our phi? 
5 already we have calculated okay which is x e raised to y plus 3z this is our 5 right so what is our point p it is 1 minus 1 0 and q is 2 0 1 okay so see i have uh, put here all things i have yes this is equal to after that we will put upper limit when we put upper limit i suppose to put x is equal to 2 y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 let us do so x is 2 we are putting e raised to y 0 0 if i put 3 here e raised to 3 uh, see if i put 1 3 into 1 3 yeah right minus let us put lower limit here i am putting x is equal to 1 y minus 1 and z 0 x 1 so it will be as it is e raised to I am putting y is equal to minus 1 minus 1 if I put z is equal to 0 0 so this is equal to 2 e cube minus 1 by e this is required work done okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye